Kia ora and haere mai! My name is Peachy and today I'm going to be teaching you how to farm some of the rarest items in Animal Crossing. These include mermaid DIYs, celeste DIYs and pagodas off Gulliver. I have chosen these items because they're very popular and sell for a high price on Nookazon. So if you want to farm a lot of Nook Mile tickets, I highly suggest using this method. All of these methods do involve time travel, however if you don't time travel the basic mechanics are still applicable. And please let me know if there's anything else you want me to do a guide on. I'm happy to do more guides. Just let me know down in the comments below. As you can see, I already have Celeste on my island, and that is because today is a heavy star night for me. I found this night by tracking my weather. This is something you can easily do via a website that I will link in the description down below. Oh, hello Celeste. Please give me a DIY. Thank you very much. If however tracking your weather seems difficult, I have a method for you. First, I'm going to save and exit and change the date to just my regular time. Make sure the time is after 7 p.m. and then just head on into your island. All right, now that you're on your island, just run around and see if you can find Celeste. I found that she tends to hang out in the same few areas on my island. This may be true for you. Alrighty, so I haven't quite managed to find Celeste, but that's alright. I'm just going to save and exit the game once more. Now I'm just going to flick the date forward once, leave the time after 7pm, and then head on back into the game. So now that I'm back in the game, I'm just going to run around my island. I'm just going to save and exit the game and skip to the next day. Alright, so just keep time traveling and running around your island looking for Celeste and once you've found her, then we can skip to the next day. Right, another bust. I'm just going to keep time traveling forward until I find Celeste. Make sure you time travel. <laughs> ah, I'm on the same day! So one thing you can also look for if you're having a hard time finding Celeste is take a look at the sky. My sky is very cloudy, you can't see the backdrop, this is not a night for shooting stars. So I'm just going to exit out of this game. So this night sky is a little less cloudy, it's still got a little bit of clouds there but you can see the stars so I'm going to hunt for Celeste. So this is a good time to mention that two NPCs can exist on your island at the same time. I may still have Celeste, but I also have Pirate Gulliver. If you want to take your farming to the next level, you can get Celeste and another NPC that you want to farm. Uh, why do you do this to me, baby? I already had to say goodbye to you once. Alright, fantastic. So I have found Celeste on my island and you just have to talk to her, grab the DIY that she's going to give you and then save and exit. Head on over to your time and date settings and skip one day into the future. Now that you're here, just save and exit the game. Now just head on into your time and date settings once more and time travel back a day. Make sure you're still after 7 p.m. at night. Now that you're back here though, you can go and find Celeste once more. So I've lost Celeste. This happens sometimes, unfortunately. You've just got to try find her again. Every now and then she just disappears. 
Alright, so I have given up trying to find Celeste on that night, and I've skipped to a heavy star night. This strategy works the same whether it's a heavy star night or whether it's a regular star night. However, if you do happen to find a heavy star night, it is the best because, well, you get more stars. So, you can farm the star fragments to make said DIYs. Now, all you have to do is find Celeste once more. Now that you have Celeste, just again speak to her, get the DIY, save and exit the game. Time travel a day forward. Now that you're here, save and exit the game. Run around your island and find Celeste. Pray that she is still on your island because apparently that is a thing. Woohoo! We have Celeste. Talk to her once more, grab the DIY offer, rinse and repeat. You'll continue to find Celeste, hopefully, so long as you keep traveling back to the same day. You can farm her for as long as you want. I had an entire attic and an entire basement full of her DIYs. Why am I not like this one? <gasps> I haven't loved this one. Well, fantastic. If you want to take this a step further, what you can do, as you can see here, I have most of Celeste DIYs learned, but I have two key Celeste DIYs missing. That is the Nova Light and the Crescent Moon Chair. As you can see from my inventory, I have been getting these DIYs, but I have not been learning them because I wanted to farm these specific DIYs. Celeste and other NPCs favor giving you DIYs that you have not yet learned. This is why I have a second account. As you can see, this account cannot learn DIYs, but they can still receive them from NPCs such as Celeste. I don't have any, I don't have any way to put my this is why I have a second account on my island so I can farm an extraordinary amount of DIYs. Now on to Pascal. So because I have all the mermaid DIYs learnt on my main account, I'll be using this account to farm some mermaid DIYs for you. So when you're looking to farm Pascal, you're looking for medium sized bubbles. These bubbles are slightly on the small side, but as you can see there are multiple bubbles coming up. The creature underneath the water moves as I swim around it, and the bubbles are not a straight line upwards. Let's dive down and look at the size. As I said, the creature under here is a bit small. The shadow of the creature should be about the same size as the halo on the top of your character's head. Now these bubbles may be a bit on the big side just because there's so many bubbles coming up. Yes, that creature is A, moving too fast, and B, too large. Let's carry on and see what we find. These bubbles over here come up mostly straight, but every now and then one bubble goes off center. This creature is still too small. As you can see, my head is very clearly larger than this. Oh, oh no, it's a turban gel. Now these bubbles are quite far apart from each other, so I don't believe that this is going to be the correct size either. No, too small. Alright, so this one has far too many bubbles coming off it, meaning it's very large, and because of the speed that it's moving at, it is not what we're looking for. That one might be a pearl though. So the trick to finding pearls is to find a straight up and down bubble that has a decent distance between the bubbles, and that doesn't move when you approach it. You're gonna find a lot of acorn barnacles while you're looking for pearls, but that just means you're on the right track. Alright, so I believe there's a, maybe too many bubbles coming off this, but I'll dive down and just check the size. Oh, the speed is good. You want the creature underneath you to move at a decent speed, but a speed that you can easily catch up with. This may be what we're looking for, let me just grab it and check. And there we go. I was incorrect about the amount of bubbles, but that just comes with practice. Make sure you give it to him. Seriously, how many times I've accidentally pressed B there. Oh, he gave us a freaking pearl! Well, with that, you can just save and exit the game. Time travel a day forward. You know what? It's your lucky day. Yeet yourselves back in there, buddies. Alright. This is the first thing I stumble on, gonna be a scallop. This is about the right amount of bubbles. As you can see, there are some very close together, some very far apart. It's moving side to side, swaying, not straight up and down. And when I get near it, it moves, but not at a crazy amount speed. 
And there we go. That's how you find a scallop. Don't give me a freaking pearl this time, buddy. I mean, no. Not really, they aren't. Are you kidding me? Well, I swear he gives you DIYs. I am not hunting for a third day for a DIY I do not need. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to farm Gulliver. All right, run to your beach, find your bird. You may have to time travel a few days to find them. Well, that was easy. Talk to Gulliver. Now he will give you a quest to find his communicator parts. Grab yourself a shovel, head down to the beach and walk along until you find a little squirty thing from the sand. Dig it on up with your shovel. Most of the time this is a manila clam, but when you've got the Gulliver quest, you will get some communicator parts. Now you need five of these communicator parts and then you can just go on back and talk to Gulliver. Now once you are done with Gulliver's quest, just save and exit the game. Time travel a day forward. Now when you load into the next day, you will have a letter from Gulliver. Open this present if you are starting out farming Gulliver fresh off the bat, you will find a random item in here. Because I've already catalogued all the other Gulliver items on this character. When Gulliver is searching for an item to send me, he sees that I have not catalogued a pagoda and that is what he sends. Now the way that I have catalogued all the other items except for pagodas is I have opened up the package that Gulliver sends, checked inside, and if this were say a dull horse or a lucky cat, I would save and exit the game here, time travel a day back, and continue on hunting Gulliver. However, because it is a pagoda, I am going to press home, then X, and then close out of the game. This means the game has not saved you opening the letter and seeing a pagoda, and Gulliver chooses which item to send you on the day that you help him find the communicator parts and not the day after, and therefore the item in your mailbox will always remain the same. Once you have catalogued all the other items, you may farm Gulliver and not even bother opening the letters because you can almost guarantee that the item inside there is going to be a pagoda. Let's check this one out. Pagoda. I hope this guide helps you to farm some rare items, whether you're using them on your island or farming them for nookers on. Please consider leaving a like, it really does help the video and let me know which of these items you are most excited to get farming. Until the next time, kakite.